Hi there everyone, my name is Yuan Paul Gregory and I'm the author of Overcome Tough Time. I just completed a session on Millionaire Professional Real Estate Negotiator. So what did I cover uh, very quickly in this short video uh, for those of you who missed my training. Uh, the Millionaire uh, HM, HM is heart, heart and mind. Uh. Then the second one, Entrepreneur versus uh, Employee Career Path. Which one is a better option for you? The third one, the difference between savings and investment. Definitely you need savings and then you need to invest in properties. Huh? The fourth one, becoming a lone ranger versus leverage on people. The fifth one, become a legendary or become a lame duck. Huh? So lame duck means always give excuses. So in my training, I ask, do you want to be a millionaire? What does it take to be a millionaire? How to be a millionaire? Huh? So on and so forth. All of us, if given a chance, you want to be a millionaire, right? Yes, huh? No, uh, are you? Why no, uh? Multi-millionaire. Oh, no. Billionaire. Hey, relax lah, bro, sister. Start with millionaire first, then multi-millionaire, then billionaire, right? Sometimes in my trading, I ask, uh, what is a dream? All straight when become billionaire, which is a good dream, but we got to start step by step, huh? So, my dear friends, uh, in this short session, uh, okay, I have another two more minutes, huh? How to be a millionaire, seven effective steps by author Johan Paul Gregory. Okay, the first one is that, remove all your negative thoughts. Uh, successful people will never, never, never think on negative thought. But of course, they face reality. Do they face challenges? Definitely. Do they face hardship? Definitely. But just remove all your negative thoughts. That's the first one. Huh? Second one, mix with the right people. Please don't mix with the wrong people. Lah. All right, those who are negative, those who always give excuses, those who say cannot do, cannot do, cannot do, cannot do. Mix with the right people. Like who? You know who. Lah. Okay. The third one, learn the habits of successful people. What the successful people do? Of course, they need to plan. Uh, they need to uh, go for retreat. They pray. Uh, they work hard. You know, and they motivate themselves. They exercise, so on and so forth. So, learn the habits of successful people. The fourth one: read related topics. All right, I've been reading many, 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 many books. Okay, so I've compiled all the key principles: business, career, life, in all this, this simple, simplified book. Huh? If you want to buy, you can go, buy, go to overcometoughtimes.com to buy. Huh? The fifth one is apply the investment principles. You cannot just save money because putting your money in the bank does not make you rich. Putting the money in the bank makes the banks richer. How come the banks become richer? The banks use your money, you put a deposit, they pay you. If let's say you put a savings account 1% or 1% the most, if not, you put in an FD, they give you 3 point something or 3% or 4%. But when they give out money, they give out loans, they give up to 6%, 8%, depending on the type of products. Some even, they always charge you higher for business loan. And sometimes they give you a personal loan, right? And how much is the personal loan? Huh? 8%, 9%, 10%, right? That's how they make money. Use your money and make money. Which is a good business idea. So, but you need to invest in your uh, you can you invest um, take your money and invest in properties or take your money and invest in higher return instead of putting your money in just in the bank huh? okay number six uh, persevere through tough times of course overcome tough times all of us is go through tough times right of course most of them don't share you right true of course lah why they want to share you all oh, their sad story right but nevertheless if you see my videos i'll share you my sad stories i'll share you my tough times and how i overcome it of course all glory to God, uh, because of God, that's why I can go through this. If in my own energy, confirm lah, I will fail, uh, fail badly. Okay, number seven, the last one, the seven effective steps. Uh, enjoy the fruits of a labor. When you become a millionaire, of course you need to enjoy, right? Don't work, 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 work so hard, then you become a millionaire, then after that, what you do? Uh, <laughs> some of them told me, uh, take the money and go and pay uh, doctor's fee. Uh. Uh, you're beautiful also. Uh. So you need to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Some people say they will save their money for their kids, which is good. Some people say, I'm not going to save a single cent for my kid. I will use it and go for holidays, so on and so forth. So there is individual uh, perspective and individual uh, reasons uh, for their own money. Yeah? So these are the seven steps. First one, remove all negative thoughts. Second one, mix the right people. Third one, learn the habits of successful people. Fourth one, read related topics. Fifth one, apply the investment principles. Six, persevere through tough times. And seven, enjoy the fruits of your labor. So my dear friends, in this five minutes video, I wish you all the success and I wish you that you will be a millionaire soon. And do not forget your roots and pray for God's guidance and bless other people. I wish you all the success. And once again, God bless you. Bye-bye.